We are live on Yonkers Voice and guys, the surprise is here. It's Maria Trusa. I did a little thing yesterday, tune in for tomorrow's surprise. People were texting me, what's the surprise rule? What's the surprise? Well, this is it. Maria Trusa, an author of a famous book called Yo Digo No Mas. Guys, look for this book, buy this book. It's a lot of good information on this book that many families need to read, learn in order to identify some serious issues that very often goes on inside our own families. Yes. Maria, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for being here. It's always a pleasure to see you, a pleasure to talk to you, but it's even a bigger pleasure when you're sitting with me. <laughs> <laughs> Ru, it's, uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here. You, you have been a friend of Jodigo Nomás and, and I'm grateful for that. So when you call and said I wanted have you um, again on the Yonkers Voice, I said, of course, we'll make the time. And obviously, we're going to talk about something extremely important. Uh, by the way, the book is in English. It's called I Say No More. It's in Spanish and English. And if you don't have the time to read, with, which I know many of us don't, it's also in Audible. Yo digo no más, I say no more. So, Maria, on your own words, tell us, without telling too much, Tell us what's in this book. What made you write this book? What was your experience, your life experience that drove you to this path of creating awareness to many families? So it's interesting how things come to you. You know, my son, uh, my, I have three kids. I have uh, Franco, 38, and Jeffrey, 33, and my daughter, uh, Natasha, NT, as they like to be called. Um, NT that is 15. My uh, middle child, Jeff, asked me uh, one day, we were skiing in uh, Colorado, and he said to me, Mom, you have to write a book. Uh, you cannot leave this earth without telling your story. Uh, so he planted the seed, and I started writing the book in 2019. It took me a year, and I decided to go through the journey of breaking the silence myself. Uh, to what I call the silent pandemic of sexual abuse. Uh, sexual abuse of our children, uh, unfortunately, like you were saying, uh, it's something that happens at home. Over 93% of the sexual abuse happens at home. And that's my story. It's a story that is hard to tell. And I, I always say that even as I'm just saying it probably for a thousand times because I've been to many interviews and I, I do a lot of public speaking engagements and I realize that no matter how many times I say it, it's hard. The body keeps the score. This is the damage that is done when we go through a trauma of sexual abuse. Uh, I was nine years old in the Dominican Republic when Unfortunately, my father made the biggest mistake of his life um, in the middle of the night. My father was taking my little brother that was four years old, and he was taking it uh, to, with his friend who did witchcraft. And I said no. I woke up when they were taking my little brother as he was crying, and my father then decided to take me. And that night changed my life forever. It destroyed my innocence. He destroyed my life for decades until I decided to heal, to start the healing process, which by the way, it is a life going process. We are always healing from this trauma. So did you finally, were you able, I know that you are because we already spoke about this on the prior interview. When did you talk to your father about the issues that were bothering you and affected your life? So I never saw my father after that night. You never did? Never. I saw him when I, uh, my experience, by the way, I mean, I was brutally, brutally raped by his friend. Not by him? Not by my father. He gave me to this man. Um, I never understood that deal that was made, I never really understood it because my father and I never spoke. I mean, my, my entire family abandoned um, my father, obviously, after that. I, my father, you know, made 
a huge mistake that cost him his life in a way because my father lost five children. Everybody abandoned my father. And the beauty of life is that when you have the opportunity to forgive, I mean, then you can start healing. And that's exactly what happened with me. Now, Maria, just before we go much further, I want to make it clear to my audience, because once in a while, I get somebody in the audience who's watching and criticize me by saying, Ru, you are very disrespectful to your guest. Why are you texting or looking at your phone while you're talking to your guest? So guys, let me explain once again. The reason I do that is because I'm monitoring you guys to see if you have any questions for my guest. So the only way to see is if I'm looking at the conversation and engaging with you to let you know, okay, I'm going to ask or I'm not going to ask. So it's not a sign of disrespect. It's a sign of respect for you because you want to know and to my guest because she wants to know what the audience is asking. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Just but it's good that you clarify that because nowadays, you know, it's very difficult when we are interacting with people and many people you're talking to them and they're looking at their phone. And all of us do it. I mean, it's, it's just we have to make an effort, but it's very nice that you clarify yeah, so that. They know. Because nowadays we have to multitask, guys. You do one <laughs> thing, but you're doing another thing at the same time. And that's a word that Windows coined, multitasking. <laughs> I know. It's not always good, but not we good. all do it. But at the same time, guys, let me give a huge shout out to Dos Marias restaurant located at 200 New Main Street, right at the corner of New Main and Naperham. This is the best Mexican restaurant, not just Yonkers. I could say just Yonkers, but I would be lying. It's Yonkers, it's Westchester County, probably the state. It's a huge, beautiful family, small, at the same time cozy. It's everything mixed. In another words, it's a place I'm sure you will feel comfortable. Come for a, a good plate of any Mexican food, some nice drinks, and at the same time to make new friends. It's a place that it's, you know, people for different kind of social platforms, social, uh, financial, in other words, people from everywhere, they come and mix without status. They just come meet the next guy. It's, it's beautiful. I actually definitely will come here. I've never been here. And Did you like I was, it? I, it's beautiful. I haven't been here, so I'm going to make sure that I make it. Uh, and we have to support each other, you know? We have to support our local community. You know what I tell businesses. people all the time? We need to do more than just talk about supporting. We actually need to support because lots of people, yeah. we need to support local business, but they don't. Make sure you come here. We need to support our local authors, and you do that by buying the book. Yeah. Okay. Go, where, where do they sell this book? It's on Amazon? Amazon, uh, it's on Barnes & Nobles, uh, it's on Audible. So there's no excuses. You can get this book. It's in, what I have to say, Ru, uh, my book is not a book just about the story that I told you, but it's a book that, where I share all of the tools that I use to be able to have this amazing life I have. Because I'm sitting here with you, but let me tell you, Ruth, I, I will not want any life but my life. I live a beautiful life. I'm glad, and I'm reading this header. La Nina, from little girl, abused little girl, to successful woman. That's it. That's a beautiful path. Yeah, from victim to creator. I decided to go from a victim, which I was for a long time, because when you're in so much pain, you dwell on your pain, so you are a victim. But when we are victim, then it's hard to create. So at some point I decided I accept my past. My past is my past. I had no control over it. And you cannot change it. I cannot change it, but I can change today. The, the now. And yeah. that's a problem, Maria, that we see at many levels. I talk to so many people on the street and they talk about the past. They, they, they victimize themselves over and over and over. And sometimes I say, listen, I understand your pain, and it could not be easy to be on your shoes, but at some point in your life, you need to become a Yatrusa. Yeah. You need to s flip that switch yeah. and say, okay, this happened to me, it's bad, 
but I need to learn. I need to share the story so others don't become the next Maria Trusa. Yeah. But you need to move forward. Absolutely. Don't you think that is important? Absolutely. And, you know, people say, but it's so hard. But if you're living life in pain and dwelling on your past, then look at what you're missing. And today, you can make a choice. We, life is choices that we make. Every day we're starting to make choices from the moment we wake up. And those choices create our reality. But we need to be able to change our personality to create a new reality. Hmm. Because what happens is when you come from that trauma, and all of us, I mean everybody, I'm sure you're watching me, you have a story. We all have a story. We come from trauma, we have a lot of pain, and especially the underserved community. You know, we, are, we come into life in an underserved world, and there's a lot of pain. But, so we create a personality. And in order to change that personality, you got to do daily deposits. You got to create a, awareness, and you have to make a decision that this is it. Yo digo no más. I say no more, you can say no more, and you can start then having the energy to create. Now, I think, when was uh, that we had the march here, Maria? How, when was this? I'm so glad you're bringing that up. Uh, it was April 30th, and it was close to a thousand people showed up in Yonkers to support Yo Digo No Mas. And I want to do a shout out, like you're doing to those Marias, um, to Dr. Quesada, many of you probably know Dr. Edwin Quesada. He is the superintendent sure of the Yonkers Public School District, our biggest ally. He is amazing with what he's doing with Yo Digo No Mas. But also, one of the biggest shout out to Mayor Mike Spano. He united with us to do this march, obviously supported us. I need to cut you off. Yes. Let's not let the cat out of the bag yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, and Yonkers Voice was there to broadcast that march live so you yeah. could all see it. Because look, uh, sometimes because of our own uh, commitments in life, I'm sure that many of you wanted to be there and march with Maria and the others, but because of uh, what, whatever reasons, you had to work, you had to do this, you couldn't be there. But through Yonkers Voice, you were able to see it get involved, even if, it, even if it was just in a cyber way. Yeah. Okay. So, we need the support. And by the way, I want to make sure people know that the 29th of April, and I know you're going to be there you're supporting right, you us, are right. is on a Saturday. We are doing the march again. We are actually getting ready. And we're going to need a lot of support from all the local community, the businesses. So I'm going to be reaching out to you and you're going to help us You already did. This. You already did. <laughs> And you, you got it. I will promote. Awesome. We will talk about it. Maria, let's get that little cat, or big cat, out of the bag. You have some major breaking news, uh, a, a, a podcast that is going to be, re be released on the 18th, Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday, the 18th at 8 p.m. We will put the, sh the link on our page to Maria's channel yo digo no mas channel we will put that that link so you guys can click on it and go directly to yo digo no mas channel and watch it's an interview with our mayor mike span can you tell us a little bit about that interview without giving too much detail because yeah. we want people to watch it because once one thing is me telling somebody about something and another thing is me listening yeah. to the person describing his or her story Tell us a little bit about this without giving it away. Too much. Okay. So uh, I've had the honor to interview our mayor, Mike Spano, someone that I now consider um, somebody really, really close to my heart. I knew him and I've always admired the mayor, but the level of um, respect for the mayor has grown for me after this interview. I have a talk show that is called Yo Digo No Mas, and it's a YouTube channel. You can go right now. We need more subscribers. Um, we have over 260,000 views in about, in three seasons. So 
Season four is starting with the story of Mayor uh, Mike Spano. We filmed last year and we are ready with the show uh, for Wednesday at 8 p.m. And you can find the link on the Yonkers Voice. <clears throat> and you'll get to hear Mayor Mike Spano's story of sexual abuse when he was 12 years old. Okay. So if you want to, because you know, some people cannot wait until Wednesday, like me, I cannot wait. I like to do things right away. You can just go to YouTube now, look for Yo Digo No Mas. Y-O, D-I-G-O, another word, N-O, another word, Mas, M-A-S. You can go there right now, subscribe, Turn the notifications on, click on that little bell to say notified. That way when that video drops on Wednesday, you get notified. And since you're going to be on YouTube to do that, don't forget, look for Yonkers Voice and do exactly the same. Subscribe, click on the bell, notifications. That way when we go live, you get notified. Support us. Support your digital mass. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ruth. Now. Just a little bit of the story, again, without going too much. This is something that happened to Mayor Max Mann when he was a child. Yes. I, I saw a little bit of the interview. It's an amazing interview. Thank you. It's an emotional interview. Very. It's an interview that people can learn from. Absolutely. Okay. He, was, he was so open. I, one of the things that I do with my talk show, I tell people, if I'm going to interview you and, I, and you're going to share the story, I really don't want to have any limits on the questions that I could ask. Because the idea is that in the show, we're breaking the silence. So we cannot protect the predator. So if, we, if you're not able to tell me who the predator was, then it's hard for me to bring you on the show because then we are protecting the person that was abusing and there is a a generational trauma that we continue to pass along. And with the mayor, it's a little bit different, and you'll get to uh, hear the story from the mayor. I'm not going to give the details, but I can tell you that the mayor was truly inspirational. And the idea with the show is that we break the silence, so he told us the story, but then he talks about his healing process, and he talks about how you know he's still healing. This is something that, you know, you don't share. Like people, so many people say to me, oh my God, I never heard that, that the ma that mayor, Mike Spano, uh, was a is a survivor of sexual abuse as a child. And that's what I was telling you. No one is immune from sexual abuse. Unfortunately, it is a silent pandemic. I'm sure many of you that are watching, they have been sexually abused. And my goal is to inspire you so that you realize that, look, we need to, we need to break the silence so that the, the predators don't continue to abuse. And we teach our children that we say no more and they say no more. And we make sure that this secret does not stay with the family. And that's what, you know, Mayor Mike Spano, you will hear, he talks about how the family handle it, you'll have to watch the interview to be able to Wednesday hear that. at 8 p.m. Go into the channel now, subscribe, turn the notifications on. Just in case you forget on Wednesday to go there, you get that beep, beep, beep. It's time to go and check it out. And since you are on uh, YouTube to turn, you know, to subscribe to Yo Digo No Mais, do the same for Yonkers Voice. Excellent. No, I, I need to do a better job with that. And that <laughs> you're just teaching me that it's true. You know, if, if we're creating awareness, and that's what you do, you creating awareness, we need to make sure people know how to, you know, get to us. Exactly. How do they connect? And I always forget. That's how people, no, it, that's how the community can support us. Okay, yeah. we do, I think, a very valuable lesson to the you know service but not a lesson service to the community we meaning Yonkers voice we work very hard to keep the people informed yeah. of what's going on sometimes the news is not nice mm -hmm. okay sometimes it's very hard to watch it sometimes it's nice 
but we don't make the news, we just inform the people, okay? With this book, you are actually informing the people with your personal experience yeah. in order to help others from going through the same things that you did. It's a service that you provide. It's something that you leave because one thing is me saying, I understand you. And another thing is me leaving, going through the things that you went through on your own flesh. Yeah. It's a whole different book. Totally. And this is why, you know, this mission is what you're saying. I, I want to help you. I want to help you heal. Because living a life the way that we, I, I lived for decades, you know, you going through toxic relationship, you let people abuse you. You just don't care because if the people that raised you uh, treated you that way, then you're, you're worthless. So you think you're worthless, but you're not. You are a being that has opportunities, that have choices. And that's what I want to continue with this mission of showing people that you can look, look what I went through. You read my book, you, I'll give you, in this book, I talk about that night. And that night I share it in tremendous details. And I decided to do that because one thing that we do is we minimize the pain. And until we speak about the details of what happens to our children, we're not going to make the change that needs to be made. This is a silent pandemic. In order for us to stop it, we need to break the silence. We need to teach the children that you have a voice. And that's why we're, we're coming out with a book uh, for the movement, Yo Digo No Mas, and a curriculum that we're going to be piloting. We are working on this. Yonkers will be the first school district to have this curriculum teaching children about sexual abuse because we don't talk about sexual abuse. So the children don't know that they're being abused. We don't talk about the different type of sexual abuse that exists. It is a silent pandemic. And unfortunately, the monster is in the house. It's within. Now, uh, as you know, we are live yeah. and people are watching and engaging. I have a question from June Akhids. I, I, I'm sorry if I spelled your name wrong. This is June. June asks, what should you do if you suspect someone is being inappropriate with your children but have no proof? Number one, I would, if you have a gut feeling, your gut is talking to you. And we don't want to listen to the gut because it means we have to confront something ugly. If you have a gut feeling, you need to, number one, not have that ch your child close to that person. I'm sorry, the drastic measures need to be taken when you feel that somebody's being inappropriate. Number two, you need to discuss it with the person. If you feel that this person is being inappropriate, because sometimes we have social norms that we've created, which is, I know in the Latino community, you know, the children have to hug and kiss the, the adults just because they're adults and out of respect. Uh, that doesn't happen in my house. Uh, I don't force my children, and now my children are older, and or uh, my grandkids. And the other thing is that allowing your children to sit in people's lap. That's another social norm that we need to change. So, but if you have a gut feeling, and if your feeling has some actual facts, then you need to go up. There is an organization called RAIN that you can report and rain is nationwide we do a lot of work with rain we send a lot of people uh, to the organization to get guidance if you think you're being your child or someone you know is being sexually abused you could also connect to yo digo no mas uh, website and uh, it's in spanish and english so you'll be able to get a lot of um, resources right there and there's a lot of blocks that we do education is prevention and that's what we're doing here as well so thank you for asking now um, Maria if somebody in the audience wants to reach out to you what's the best way to reach out is it through email is it going through your website click on contact going through your social platform what is the best way 
If you want, like I was saying, yodigonomas.com is the website. And, and by the way, at the end, maybe we can give you all these links. That way you can put it Correct. in yes. and they can go in. Uh, mine is Maria Trusa. Maria Trusa. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. Um, Maria Trusa, Maria underscore Trusa, because unfortunately, there are people in the higher positions in this country that are against uh, people like myself that are talking about against sexual abuse of children. I was um, taking out Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. What do you mean by taking out? Uh, they deleted my account. Okay. Uh, all of my accounts because I posted a, I did an Iron Man, I was sharing with you that I'm an Iron Woman, a woman made out of steel. Uh, it's, and it's, she is. <laughs> you know, it's interesting, Ruth, because um, when you go through a trauma like the one I went through and many of you, uh, you can use that energy to build res resilience. There are so many, and for me, doing an Ironman, doing a marathon is part of testing my resilience. And when I did the uh, Ironman in September, September 25th, I wore a tri-suit that where I said, I am a survivor of sexual abuse at the age of nine and I say no more. And when I posted that on uh, Facebook, my Instagram, they took me down. You, get, you got penalized by, for creating awareness. For creating awareness. And then the worst thing that happened was, two days later, I sent a message to all the people that follow me on WhatsApp. And I said, and my voice will not be stopped. I'm going to continue doing what I'm supposed to be doing. They took me down of WhatsApp. They deleted my WhatsApp account. Did it's you, crazy. This so, is Facebook, because Facebook bought WhatsApp and Instagram. Meta. Yeah, Meta, it's, Meta. It, they belong, everything. So you're being watched, just so you know. So what, let's hope that Meta doesn't take us off Facebook because of this. Right. It's, it's crazy. But, um, so I, I brought it, you know, I brought back, if you want to get in touch with me, um, you can just go into my Instagram or follow me on Maria Trusa uh, fan page. You can send messages and I will definitely reach back to you and, and figure out a way to help. So guys, don't forget, this coming Wednesday, the 18th at 8 p.m., the video, the interview with the Mayor Max Panos is going to be dropping. Yes. Okay? You can watch it, not that you can watch it, you should be watching it, you will be watching it on Yozigo Nomas YouTube channel. We will post a link to the, to the channel so you can watch it directly from there. And don't forget, once you go there, don't forget to subscribe, support, and turn the notifications on, and do the same for Yonka's Voice. Yonka's Voice does not make the news, we just report the news. We do the things that we feel it's important for the community of Yonka's, for you guys to know what's going on. Marie, is there anything else that maybe I didn't ask? Maybe something that you want to bring up? Something that you want to talk about? We are, so as I spoke with the Mar about the march, uh, it is important that we get your support. Uh, Yonkers, it's interesting because I came to Yonkers when I, I came from the Dominican Republic, I was 15 years old and I went to Washington Heights. And then at the age of 17, I ended up coming to Yonkers. And, it's, and I live in West Harrison now, but it's interesting how the universe brought me back to Yonkers because we are, the mayor is supporting me. The mayor happens to be a survivor. Dr. Quesada, who is the Dominican uh, man who supports the children, joined this force too. And now we're bringing the march. And I have to say this march, we need your support. We need you to show up that day. We're closing some of the streets of Yonkers for you and for you to join saying no more. We're also doing our first gala June 1st. So I want to, you to stay in tune for that. Our first gala is going to be in White Plains at the old Ritz-Carlton. It's now called the Opus, the Opus Building. So the march is when again, Maria? April 29th. April 29th. It's a Saturday. It's say. a Saturday. Right here in the City Hall, taking off from the City Hall as we did last time. Yes. So, but the meeting place is Yonka City Hall. Yes. The, what day? At the 29th of, of April. 29th of April. What time? 
Uh, we are not sure yet. I we will, will let you know. We we're, will put, put we're it in out. the process of doing all the details, but there's going to be a lot of fun and a lot of interesting people that are coming to the and march. a lot of emotional statements. Absolutely. I remember your statement, and uh, I remember telling you, Maria, one thing is hearing the story, and another thing is hearing from somebody who went through the story. Yeah. It's a whole different... Uh, well, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for sitting with us. Thank you for sharing the story with the, our community, the people of Yonkers. And guys, thank you for watching. And don't forget, if you're in the mood for some Mexican food, Dos Marias, 200 New Main Street in Yonkers, the best Mexican food in Yonkers, Westchester County, possible New York State, and who knows the world. <laughs> if I'm going to go, I'm going to go as high as I can. And, and, and Ruth, uh, I want to make sure that I thank you also. Because you know what? What you're doing, creating the awareness, you can't create it if we don't have the people that follow you. And I wanted to thank you for taking the time this morning to give us the space to be able to continue sharing our mission of creating the awareness. Thank you so much for your time. And guys, don't forget. We cover lots of stories, and sometimes when it's a bad story, you guys, my audience, friends, they share that story like there is no tomorrow. But this is the type of story that we really wish you guys would share. This is what we want you to spread. Click on the share, share it on your own personal pages, ask your own friends to share it. The message needs to be heard. And don't forget, yo digo no mas, buy the book, support the cause, support Maria, and support you. Read the book and learn the science. Thank you for watching. Until next time.